guys welcome back to chef reno show come close today we are in veneto daddy verona the beautiful city and now don't go nowhere we have a lot of exciting thing to, uh, to tell you i will reveal you two restaurants where you can go and get a good food in verona so don't go nowhere and explore this beautiful city and this come here come here look here look here look here guys look homemade gnocchi with siege siege and butter so now let's explore of chef for your show if you have a wine open the wine get a wine because that's very interesting thing you gotta do come here guys let's put the the fires up because we want the water nice and hot this is the fantastic san maria church all you guys can visit il pont de nuovo or they have this fantastic century roman amphitheater where they actually currently host concert and large scala opera performance it's so beautiful now the water is boiling we're gonna toss our fantastic gnocchi inside. Now, remember, do you want the gnocchi to actually merge? They mean the gnocchi, they are good to go. At the meantime, let me point you guys, let's have this, pot, this fry pan gradually get warm because we want the, the butter to melt it up, right? So at the meantime, don't, we put the butter, but again, you will just soften out the butter, not burn it. Verona is also very famous about Romeo and Giulietta. I mean, who never heard about Romeo and Giulietta story? But now let's reveal the first restaurant, the first hot spot. It's called Al Duca. It's so famous about the parpadella with the dark sauce. And it's located in the heart of Verona, in Old Town. The building is from the 13th century. And one time, this building was belonged from the Montecchi family, where Romeo lived for some times. Now let's get it, the, the gnocchi out of the water. I turn off the water because it was it's our good to go. So now we take we pick it up the gnocchi. Look at that beautiful, it's nice and puffy. Now the, the bottle. Come here, guys. Come here, guys. Look at the bottle. Beautiful. Look at that. Eh? You want the butter just melted. But yes, yeah, so. So this is traditional, uh, traditional, come here guys, this traditional recipe in Verona. The gnocchi are typical pasta or made fresh, made in Verona. And actually they do eat an, uh, with sage and butter. So, and that's the, and also they do with the marinara sauce. And now the reason why I'm not usually the recipe with the marinara sauce, because gnocchi and marinara sauce, we also do in, in a lot of different region, especially Naples where I was, what I decided was of course a lot of years. That's why I pick the butter and the siege. That's give you more um, a brand, you know? But yeah, but that's it's amazing. Now we are gonna... And now let's put the gnocchi in the plates. Look at that, huh? fantastic. That's easy, that's easy guys. That's what I like Italian cuisine. We are working in a, it's a very easy recipe. I mean, we have a, that's what we call Mediterranean and Italian food is very light. It's not just about spaghetti. So we, <laughs> we do a lot of stuff, but I hope you have your wine on your hands. Mm. Now you pull a bit more siege. Now, and that's it. I mean, you, that's easy plate. I mean, we don't do a lot of complications because I want you guys to try that. And uh, the next episode, we are going to feature how to make the gnocchi originally from Verona. Before we're gonna taste this fantastic gnocchi, let's reveal our second hot spot. And it's called Sotto Riva. And it's located downtown Verona. And they have some table on the porch where you can see the view of the Verona city. And they have a fantastic cake. Now let's try our gnocchi. I deepened up in the delicious bottle. Mm. Took me like an hour to do the gnocchi, but it's guys, 
is delicious. Let me wash it off with some, some wine. But yeah, so if you like my show, please don't forget to subscribe and give a, a like it for my channel or my outstanding show. And uh, I'm so honored to be your host of the Chef Reno Show. Thank you so much for support the Chef Reno Show. And uh, don't forget to subscribe, give a like, and I will leave all the information for the two amazing restaurants so you can visit. And again, if you know anything about Verona, if you want to know more, just don't forget to leave messages below. I will read and I will reply right back to you. And I'll see you guys next time.